Here we are, my love. Where have you been, dear boy? Aha, you missed me, eh? Of course. Those martinis look a little pale. You look a little pale, dear, if you were only 90 proof. No good, eh? I'll do better next time. Kitty? Oh, no, thank you, Richard. No? No? Yeah. You'd like these, Dr. Burt. I mixed them to your prescription. 27 to 1. <gasps> oh, no. Well, you don't have to drink it, my dear. Perhaps we can find you a glass of port. You'll do nothing of the kind. <laughs> Come on, Richard, fill it up. Might as well be good and sick of the way I am. Well, I've never heard of doctor's wives being sick. Oh, Kitty, never heard of them being anything else. <laughs> Richard, why don't you tell that musician story to Gerald? It might cheer him up. Mm, good idea. I heard a new one of those musician stories, Jerry. Well, it seems the chap was playing the piano very loudly and very late at night. Well, the manager of the flat comes and bangs on the door and says, hey, do you know there's an old lady sick upstairs? So the musician says, no, but if you hum the first four bars, I'll try and follow you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Gerald, that's much better. Is it nice to see all our friends again? Talking of musicians, I remember the time about six months ago when I was going to... Where's he going, Kitty? I don't know. Well, it might help if we found out. Something's upset him, and the sooner we can find out what it is, the better. Well, the door's locked. But are you sure? Well, that's settled it, as far as I'm concerned. I'm going to have to do something about this, and soon. Well, what can you do? Let me have your car keys, Richard, will you? Certainly, I'll buy them. But why? Well, as soon as possible, I'm driving down to the village. I'll make out the necessary papers and have Gerald taken into custody. But Gerald isn't insane. I'm not taking any chances, Kitty. From what I've seen of him so far, he may be dangerous. Very much so. And the sooner I get him under observation, the sooner he can be helped. If at all. Bert, it can't be as bad as all that. Oh, of course not. Kitty, you asked me to come here and take a look at Gerald. Well, I've looked. And I'm afraid it might be even more serious than you made it out to be. Don't cross him, any of you. Do you understand? You really think it's that serious? Yes, I do. Don't do or say anything to upset him. He might eat. Uh, I, I suppose I told you the story about the flame dancers in Singapore. Never. I'd love to hear it. Dinner is served. Well, at least we'll see how a baronet eats. I hope baronets don't say a starch as I have to watch my finger. Oh, Aunt Edith, I want you to steal the key out of the big door for me. What on earth for? Well, I think all the locks are the same, and I want to get out of my room tonight. And uh, there I was, you see, with that maddened elephant in front of me and a whole tribe of fuzzy wuzzies behind me. Now, why do you suppose they call those people fuzzy wuzzies? Well, that's just what they call the men, Ducky. They call the girls. Oh, just a moment, young man. We'll have none of your miserable jokes right after a lovely dinner. <laughs> miserable jokes? I, I was just going to quote Kipling like Bert always does. Now, in India's sunny clime, where I used to spend my time, <laughs> a southern of her majesty, the queen. Excuse me. There are certain rules in this castle, and I'm afraid they must be observed. You'll all be expected to be in your rooms at 11 o'clock, and it's almost that now. Oh, but Jerry, really, I mean... It's all right, Jerry. As a matter of fact, I'm, I'm very tired. As you can see, I'm not equipped for entertaining here. It's been very nice to see you all, but I must expect you to be gone in the morning. Oh, and please don't be alarmed if your doors are locked during the night from the outside. going to do, Bert? Wait till tomorrow. There's nothing else I can do. Did you get the key? Bert, 
Charles, why don't you stop prowling about and come to bed? Yes, soon no mama die. I hope. But if it becomes necessary, I'll shoot the lock off that door. But you really think you're as dangerous? Yes, I'm afraid it's possible. I looked up the McTeam family history when I got Kitty's letter. There seems to be a pretty strong indication of some sort of congenital illness. All the baronets died while they were still young men. So Samuel, Gerald's uncle, was only 45. His uncle died before he was 30. It's been the same for generations. You saw how Gerald looked tonight. Oh, he's aged terribly. I found out something else, too. The last woman to marry a McTeen baronet died a few days after she moved here under very strange and mysterious circumstances. The records listed her death, but not the cause. And there hasn't been a wife at Craven since. How long ago was that? 200 years. Almost exactly. Roberts. Did you take the key from the great hall door? No. It's missing. Are you sure? Yes, I noticed it after the guests had retired to their bedrooms. Do you think one of them? I don't know. But we'll have to search every bedroom until we find it. Half past 11. We won't have time now. No, but first thing in the morning. What about Sir Gerald? Should he be told? No. No. I hope it was not one of the ladies who took the key. You know what happened to the cleaning woman? I... Kitty, I wish you wouldn't go through with this. I'm sure there's something in that tower room. I must, Aunt Edith. Now more than ever. Bert thinks Gerald's insane. I don't. And this is the first chance I've had to try and find out what's been troubling him. Furniture in here at all. And the window's not blocked off as ours are. I wonder where that door leads to. It's a piece of seaweed. I'm sure of it. Yes. And a bowl of tomatoes. had this book downstairs today.
Yes, sir, they're all locked. What are you going to do, Kitty? Follow them. Mark just like this one inside the maze gate. What is it? I don't know. But I'm sure of one thing, Aunt Edith. Whatever the mystery is, it's a person. How do you know that? Well, didn't you hear Gerald say, yes, sir, they're all locked. He was talking to someone we haven't seen yet. Kitty, are you thinking what I am? Teratology. The study of monstrosities. Oh, poor Gerald. The secret of Craven. It's so horrible that he won't marry you. Kitty, you can't. Surely he knows me better than that. I must see him now, so I can show him it doesn't matter. 